I'm a working professional. How do I prepare for CAT with, with just four and a half or five months remaining? First thing to understand is this is possible. This is possible. Several have done this. Uh, several are doing this. 75% of the people who are joining and going into the IM are guys with work experience. Some of them have, and most of them have two plus years of work experience. That means they've not only joined jobs, they've been working in meaningful roles. That means that they have certain job pressures when they prepare for CAT. It is possible. First thing is to handle the belief part. It is very much doable. Uh, how should you plan your preparation? You need about 400 hours of preparation for this exam. We have about 18-20 weeks remaining. We've got to squeeze in 20 hours per week. That's the ballpark. And this is 20 hours of intense preparation, not goofing off with, with YouTube running on headset in the background or taking a peek into WhatsApp every now and then or uh, doing 15 minutes of this and 15 minutes of hot start. That doesn't work. You have to throw yourself at it. If you're not ready to commit like that, then don't jump in. You're kidding yourself. You're pre pretending to prepare. And that's useless. How does one extract 20 hours a week? Uh, there are two broad outlines. And so some like me, I, I like to still keep my Saturday or Sunday, at least one of the days free. I don't want to be switched on seven days a week, five days with work and two days with cat prep. And then I start feeling constricted. But I'm okay to max out my five days. And I'm a morning person. So if I were preparing a schedule for myself, I'll say 5.30 to 7.30 every day, Monday to Friday, I'm having a crack. That is 10 hours in the bag. At least two of the days, I'll do a mock or something so that I'm switching off and not, uh, I'm not preparing for a topic, but I'm finishing a mock to our paper. So I'll prepare for 12, 14 hours during the week. And either Saturday or Sunday, I'll do the remaining. I'll take stock over the weekend, have a schedule for the week and run like this. But I know this doesn't work for everybody. Some jobs could be taxing. Some jobs could extract their pound of flesh where you turn up at 8.30 in the morning and leave only at 9.30 in the evening. In which case you say, look, I can't prepare from 10 p.m. I can't prepare from 5 to 7. If that happens, then you have to max out your weekends. Then you've got to say, hey, Saturday morning, 3 hours, Saturday evening, 4 hours, Sunday morning, 4 hours, Sunday evening, 3 hours. I've got something going and then build on it. You have to squeeze time out. The ballpark you're looking for is 20 hours per week. At least 15, you should somehow squeeze out of your schedule. This is going to pay off. This is going to pay off whether you crack cat or not. Saying I'm over an 18 week period or 20 week period, I'm going to extract 20 hours per week, 15 hours per week. You will get your ability to process numbers, process computation, process ideas, concept passages will just amp up. You will go places just on the back of that preparation. And I think that that is a wonderful thing to strive for. And a lot of times, People keep sometimes ask me saying, how are you comfortable with uh, with maths and, uh, and, and, and doing new things and puzzles? I went through my JE preparation when I was in class 11 and 12. And I think very honestly, that's what set me up for all other preparation I did. We did about six, seven classes of three hours each with along with our school and six hours of classes, six classes of three hours each. Each of them would give some homework, some preparation, some test. So there's a spillover from there. So we ran like a like a like a one year sprint and one year warming up to that. So that set me up for just processing differently. So you, you this is a four and a half five month thing. It is definitely possible. Anyone can extract that much time. So carve out your schedules, either maxing out your weekday and taking one day light, or if job is too tight, extracting 14 hours from Saturday and Sunday. You have to do it. It is definitely useful. And if you don't commit to it, then it's not going to happen. And so it is possible, doable, the payoffs are rich. You have to carve out your schedule and build a discipline to crack them. Best wishes.